Do I do like this? Oh, you just got out of the hospital. Namin nga up sa. Namin nga up. Sa nawag ang up. Namin nga up. Sa nagpuan. Oh, 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 so um, I got me a big old turkey. Um, I already um, videoed how it cost and how much it weighs. It's like 22 pounds. So um, this big old bird, I'm going to cook it. It's so huge. There you go. And so um, I have of course my oven bags it's ready i actually use it last year and i have one left it's like two in a bag so i'm going to use it this year the last one and also you have to have your roasting pan i got my roasting pan um from smith thank you boo -boo. for this year we got our turkey from walmart just like last year it's um only um i think 98 yeah it's 98 cents per pound and we only paid um twenty two dollars and two cents and it's um twenty two point forty seven pounds so this will be a turkey for this year and it's um tender juicy and it's butterball all i'm gonna do now is i'm going to take it out and um clean it in running cold water um you have to clean it really good take the stuff from the inside and then um, after that, you tap it and let it dry for a little bit before you um, braise it with your um, seasonings. And also, um, the turkey, the butterball turkey, comes with um, cooking and carving instructions and directions. All you have to do is to open this paper and it will tell you um, what to do, um, how to cook the turkey and what temperature it should be set on the um, oven and how long it would take. So it's easy, you just have to follow the cooking and carving directions. My roasting pan from Smith a while ago, like three years ago, and I've been using it every year. So you have to have this, a rack, where you put your um, turkey in a bag and put it on the rack so that to prevent burning in the bottom. And of course, um, the theme for my turkey this year is called jungle turkey. It's the supreme jungle turkey because I'm using a lot of herbs. I have rosemary, I have thyme, I have sage, and I have um, parsley that I got, um, I got a Walmart, I got a Walmart yesterday. So yeah, and of course I will also use lemon and um, garlic and um, unsalted butter i already um warm it and melt it oh there you go and of course um it's like uh one how many is this just one of this the unsalted butter that i use and i melted it it's like this now and of course the onions these onions and um the lemon and the garlic that i cut you know the whole garlic i just cut it um twice in the middle and it looks like this. All of this will go inside the turkey with lots of herbs. And of course the butter, I'm gonna put some herbs in it and I'm gonna put my seasoning, which is lemon pepper, a little bit. You know me, I just sprinkle, sprinkle, I don't measure. So I'll just, in my mind, if it's balanced, it's balanced. And, and then I have garlic salt and I have the regular salt. So I'm gonna put that all in the butter and I'm just gonna mix it and I'm gonna make a beautiful rub on my turkey and I'll make sure that the rub goes inside also the turkey um, skin because the turkey is dry so you really need butter to coat it and to make it really crispy at the end. Later on when 
when it's done and it's cooked, I'm going to put it in the oven. Um, of course, just follow the instruction here um, in the butter bowl direction on how long it will be in the oven. When it's done, I will do my presentation. The rest of the herbs will go at the bottom. And I'm going to put um, this cranberry, fresh cranberries on the side for the presentation. All right. See you later. It's ready to put in the oven. And I have to put like a slit or a little cut on top so that the turkey can breathe while it's baking and bake it for like three and a half hours in 375 degrees. That's it. All the herbs are inside. It's ready to bake.